You said you was in Circle House working on state property. Mm -hmm. Were you disappointed that I feel like a lot of the releases that was coming out after that kind of got swallowed up in the whole 50 cent wave? Now, here's the, here's the incredible point. State property comes out, it does what it does. We got Rock the Mic off of there. We got yep. a whole bunch right. of things. There's a point where Jay walks in the studio and it was just so happened that everybody was in the studio at the same I think it was, we were working on Blueprint too. Right. Because after we did Blueprint, Blueprint drops September 11th when the towers fall. 9-11. Mm -hmm. We was all in Miami. Me and Just was in the studio and was like, how are we getting back to New York? Hmm. And it was just bananas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. bananas. The phones was all, shout yeah. out to Circle House and the BB. Jay dropped that day. Boom. We start working on Blueprint 2, and that's when like everybody, everybody was like in the studio a lot during that time. Right. And Jay walked in the studio. He said it before, but I'm telling you how impactful it was. He walked in the studio and he was like, yo, this dude 50, y'all gonna have to deal with him in the next couple months. He said it to the whole crew. You gonna have to deal with him. What's that like for you since you was there for? It was a warning. It was like, yo, there's this, another power coming. But you had known 50 already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Did no, no, it hit you differently? Of but, but, the, but that 50 and the 50 that came after two different, 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 different things. Different. But did it hit you differently because you were familiar with him and nobody? No, I, knew, I, knew, I knew that he was going to be, because for me, 50 is like one of the most incredible hook writers. Right. And hooks will get you oh, everywhere. Lord. Everything. Yo, yeah. bro, it was one time me and Bleak was in the studio. And I heard a 50 record and I looked at Bleak. This dude said, I know you don't love me. Mm -hmm. Cause you ain't the same when Jay-Z's around. Right. I said, Bleak, that's all I want. That's all I want, huh? How do we not say that? Right. There is a Bleak hook. Right. How wow. do we not say that? Right. I'm looking like, yo, yeah. no, this dude is too good. Yeah. I love Fifth. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and when he did, like, it's just those things. But Jay acknowledged it early. He was like, y'all gonna have to deal with this dude. He's coming. So mm. I don't feel as that it was that. I feel like state property got trapped in the Dame and Bleak. I mean, Dame and Jay breakup. Because that was around the same time. Yeah. What was Owen that? Owen Sparks never put out an album. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Right, right. right. Yeah. Freeway was the one that just gravitated towards because Freeway is like, you gotta love Free. Mm -hmm. Free's personality, the way he was, like as the medium to everything. Right. And I think it has a lot to do with his religious belief, you know what I'm saying? But right. Free in Islam is like the way that he presents himself, you gotta love Free. Right. Mm -hmm. but it, but and first Free album. is the most creative, like if I say, Yo, free, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. He's gonna listen, he's gonna try everything. It may not be it. And then at the end of the day, he'll be like, that's not it. Erase it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Yeah. Free was that one. Beans was always the leader. It was just like, but I think they got caught in that thing where, where they could have went a lot further. But let's not, you know, when people say these things, I'm like, you realize how many platinum and gold albums Bleak has? You realize how many, you know what I'm saying, Beans albums went platinum and gold? You realize like, all of the state property albums is platinum. You, re you realize this, right? right? Like, mm -hmm. it wasn't like they was missing, but I felt like the whole thing could have been. They didn't get the benefit of the united front. I mean, yeah, the, because, the, the, because, and then also, too. Not only that, somebody was going diamond. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, also, yeah. too, you know what I mean? there becomes a certain point where um, MP3s come in. There you go. I wanted to talk about So, that. like, the thing that we could rely on where it was like the thing of Rockefeller as a label was guaranteeing me 300,000 the first week. I didn't have to think about it. And the first time that a Rockefeller album came in at 80,000 for the first week, I was like, yo, what who, the hell? was that? Freeway. It was, it, no, 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 it was, it was the Young Guns. Young Guns? Yeah. You sure it was free? His, no, no, it wasn't free. It was like 60 or 80, 60 that or 80, That was like 000. late 03, early 04. Yeah, yeah. but I, I was already telling the office this is what, you're right, because it's 03, because Jay, took, Jay takes over Def Jam, right? Mm -hmm. they, they took us on, and this is the thing, this is the other thing that let me know, like, I'm not really the office dude, right? So it was the meetings about the meetings about the, I start working at Def Jam as an A&R, because Jay was like, yo, come handle the Rockefeller thing as an A&R. And for the first three months, the whole of Def Jam did not put out a record, because it's a, Regime change, you right. know what I'm saying? You leaving from Kev, Lior, Julie, going to Jay and L.A. L.A. Mm -hmm. Now, with, with Kev, Lior, and Julie, it was like, 
Make whatever record you want, and I'm gonna make it the biggest thing in the world. Gotcha. With LA and J, it was like the first three months, we didn't put out no records. We go to Foxwood. We having a meeting with the whole staff. And in the middle of this whole thing, me as a nerd, me as a person that's on the internet, as people, you gotta remember, people haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have a meeting with the whole staff, and I raised my hand. They was like, LA and J was on um, stage, and they was like, you can ask us any question you want. And I wasn't trying to be smart, but I was like, raised my hand, stood up. I was like, how are we gonna sell records when records is free? Yep. That was my question. Right now, on my computer, LimeWire, right? I can get any record, any movie, any anything. That you, and this is when it was the Wild Wild West. West. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's what I said, LimeWire. I can get yeah. any song, any Type movie, it any, Type anything. It it's super easy. Right. Naturally. There was no cease and desist going on to websites. It was just rock. There was full web pages like, okay, Here's all the black exploitation movies and all the uh, albums that go along all with you it. And type it in. All you gotta do yep. is type it in. It was there. And yep. download it, boot, and hope just when it downloads, it's. But multiple downloads. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Multiple. So I see that 60 coming. I'm like, whoa, this is really affecting our sales because as soon as we put it out, everybody can get it for free. That's, you know, was another aspect of it that I don't think people seen. Do you think the inbox and the introduction of, course, of, of Pro course, Tools hurt the music? Course, of course, of course. Because Esso has a story, because you know how you had to, like you said, the reel, you had to cut the tape to make the edit. Of course. And then now it's like, of course. We could do now, a, yeah. If I'm if I'm an artist, mm -hmm. right? And I'm spending a thousand dollars a day just for the rental of Hit Factory. Mm -hmm. The studios felt it first. Yep. Right? Yeah. If I'm spending a thousand dollars a day for the rental shit, of yeah. Hit Factory. And you trying to tell me that I could go buy a box for five hundred dollars? Five hundred. It was four twenty. That I could go record with the laptop, my, record my vocals on. Put the sock over the microphone. Right. What it did was it destroyed the quality. studio business. Yes, it in did. In New York City, it did. It destroyed the quality of it. It destroyed the um, community that we had. That it built. Because right. because mm -hmm. if I'm on fiftieth and you at Sony, we and I'm over. Yeah, yeah, we we. Everybody, Dude, we coming yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Coming I got some shit to play. You better have some beats over oh, there. Yeah. It destroyed the community. This shit. I need right. some beats. You know what I'm saying? It destroyed the community. Now people at home by themselves. Then it's like, okay, I'll give you a perfect, I'm going to tell you about me, just my personal mm -hmm. example. I go on a meeting for Def Jam. LA and J look at me, and I look at my budget, and Bleak is at like 1.3 million. And LA, you know, I give LA his props all day because he's a straight shooter with me. Mm -hmm. I've never had no problem. He's a straight shooter with me. Goo, how I'm getting my money back? I spent a million three. I said, Bleak, we are not going to no studios. You coming to North and you coming to my house? No. <laughs> we're, we're, about to, so we're about to finish this album at my house. Right. Because we can't spend no more money on studio. It's not just the studio time. It's the amount of food you eat. It's the... Cost, yeah, the, it all, it all, it all, all of it. Right. You you might end up spending three thousand dollars in a day, and do nothing. Yeah. Because mm. back then artists would go to the studio to write. Mm -hmm. What if they didn't come up with it that day? Right out the window. That was the point. So the inbox <sighs> is like it destroyed the studio business, but it also removed us from quality control. Right. You see yep. what I'm saying? Right. Now they can come back with whatever. That's yeah. when Mecca say the music. Doesn't hit the same now. It's so you know accessible. Yeah, speed but I, comes I, out fast. I do want to rewind a little bit because mm -hmm. we skipped Jay and Dame. Yeah, the yeah. Jay and Dame, we Dame the thing. Split. Mm -hmm. You being the, the engineer and being in the studio with all these artists, what were the rumblings like? Who who was indecisive on what side they was gonna go to? I never. How was it decided? I never. I never seen a like. Let me choose a side. Yeah, he said he chose a side. He did, but you gotta remember too, like, I'm at baseline. Yeah. And to be specific, I'm gonna get all the way to your point. Ye was very rare at baseline. Ye was send beats in. Mm. I'm saying, I, I may count 10, at the maximum 15 times that I've seen Ye at baseline. Over your 10 years? Yes. Mm. Mm. Cause he was send beats in. And then when we were working on a record that's his specific record, he would come and, you know what I'm saying, produce yeah. the record. Like right. be in track there with Jay, track out, but also Ye would produce. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the, like, 
he's sitting there when we making the black album. He like, yo, it's gonna be this breakdown part, and then my dude is gonna say, hold on, hold on. He like he's producing yeah. the record. But I never see. This is another part that people like. They exaggerate when 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 Jay. Dane and Biggs had their meetings. They would go in the B room. Them three would talk about whatever they talked. And it's not like they came out and was like, here's what the meeting was about. Right. Right. They never did that. It was just, they had their discussions. They figured out what they was doing. I know personally, you know what I'm saying? My loyalty is to Dane. I mean, my loyalty is to Jay. Right. So it's just like, that's who I'm going to roll with. It's not that I have a problem with Dane. It's just that Jay is my guy. He bought you one. Right. Yeah, it's my guy. And Bleak and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know why people feel like they can speak on something that they wasn't there for. Right. It's a lot of auxiliary people that be speaking on this that's like, it's not your business. Right. Mm -hmm. Whatever is between them, that's between them. It's not your business, bro. But what was it like for the artists? At that it was time? tough. It was tough because then they have to figure out like, Mm -hmm. Where am I gonna go? Mm -hmm. It was tough. You don't want to pick the wrong side. It's not even about picking the wrong side. It was like they already feel a certain type of way about like the thing that I came in with is going to be different. Different. But it's just like if Jay is taking over Def Jam, then you know what I'm saying. Then that's what it is. Right. So I don't. I don't know. I can't speak for them personally. But for me, I just don't like when people add on things that you wasn't in those meetings, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What specific? Like, like, I seen a lot of people talk on Dame and Jay and Biggs and like, bro, you are auxiliary. I seen people on this show <laughs> talk about them. And it was like, bro, you are an auxiliary person. Like, you didn't, you wasn't there in the middle. I, nobody right. can talk except for them three people. Right. If you're not one of them three people, stop talking. That's like, yo, if that's like when people ask me to speak for Jay Mon. And it's like, as much as y'all be together, if... Somebody come to Esso and be like, what does Heineken think about? You got to ask Heineken. That's what I yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm like, right. talk to man. Right. Right. That's exactly right. what I said. Right. Talk to them niggas. Right. 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 And they be like, no, that's your man. No. You're supposed to know what yeah. The funny wrong. part is he said that before. I said that. Yeah, you I said that to everybody. I be right. like, talk to them. Yeah. Ask him. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you right. know what I'm saying? Because you just got on a three-way call. I got it on camera. Yeah, it's on camera. I said And then people will have an opinion about this and that. And I be like, bro, you wasn't there. You and, and what makes it bad is you was affiliated, so people mm. think that your opinion is valid. Has some weight. Mm. And then the you. internet will run with your opinion, and you'll say, "Oh, this happened and that." You don't know. You don't really know. Cisco, How are you gonna speak Cisco to Cisco Rosario? Who? Cisco Rosario. Is that the clip? No, 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 no. Cis Cisco was there. Okay. Cisco was there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But even, I don't think Cisco went too far, but even Cisco, you know what I'm saying? To yeah. a certain degree, was like, he said it. Jay was never really at the office. Where do you think the rumors come from? Because it's, it's been so much it floating become, around about it becomes because money people, and clothes and all this other Because kind of people, and because people's people imagination. want to have something to say. Right. It's a sensational story, No, bro. people, people want Yo, an explanation. Bro, bro, it was just a verse that was put out. Mm -hmm. And now... All I said was, I said, after this verse, my tweet was, after this verse, I don't want to have the conversation no more. Come on. And people already uh -oh, said. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Yeah. Before we get to this verse, Pause. let's take a five minute break. I knew I knew this about to start. Yeah. I knew it. This Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve.